y'all even come up with the clothing line? Like, how did y'all come about? It's kind of a funny story. I was in 10th grade, actually. Wisdom is now is beyond genius. It's being aware and conscious of everything going on in the surroundings. It's knowing your true potential, knowing you, who you are. You don't have to literally be in school to obtain wisdom. You can be anywhere in life, any position. There's always something to learn. Having that mind state that you're always learning, always building, that will keep you strong and that will keep you focused. I'm on a journey to transfer my, my knowledge through my clothes on people, so that's worldwide. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's going you know, to start emulating this way of thinking soon. I can see it happening now, and I'm very passionate and blessed to, to be in, a, you know, in this position in life now to see people actually taking from what I'm doing. I started Wisdom at Reading High School in Stone Mountain. It started out with me drawing the logo. It was the Wisdom. Halo graffiti logo, you know, the main font y'all see today. And I drew that on everything, my notebook, on um, photos. I drew and just put it at the bottom as a signature. I always challenged myself and stayed on my path of art. I know I was a big artist, I was a creative director. I had a lot of imagination and creative space in my brain, so I stayed on that path. No matter if I was in math class or if I was in language arts, I stayed creating getting caught drawing and you know failing tests because I was drawing those things I stayed on the path that I wanted to fully explore and endure. Doing that a lot of people would turn over and be like yeah, that's a nice logo. Everybody every once in a while would be like that's a nice logo, that's dope. I showed my friend Nate and he he automatically gave me the idea to create a business off of it. And after hearing that I'm 16 in the 10th grade like how am I start a business in the 10th grade, you know, that's that's what's ringing through my head, like, is that, you know, that doesn't even sound realistic. David Banner did a seminar at Reading High School one day. Basically, he was doing a seminar answering questions. Every answer, every question answered by a student, he would pass out $100. I was going to raise my hand for the $100. My friend Nate actually won the $100. I was hating on him. But I was going to raise, <laughs> raise my hand and ask for the uh, question, but when he called on me, instead of Answering the question, I told him about my business, who I was, and I had a hoodie with his name on it. And after that, he said, go get it. To go grab it, gave it to him on stage. The whole seminar shifted from him talking about his life to wisdom. Like, everybody has a camera. Wisdom. And it's just another opportunity I looked at. It's an opportunity set in front of me, and I, you have to be wise enough to act on it as it's there. So I did that. Over the years, Wisdom has grown so much. I started doing trade shows, sneaker con events, building up my tables at shows, and learning more about selling to people outside of my school. Learning about the whole fashion industry beyond just high school. In terms of um, expanding in storefronts, uh, my goal is to get a storefront in Atlanta. Also getting the design, you know, getting to the design space of my dreams. Those are some of my goals. You know, I have millions of other goals, expanding different countries, there's millions of things that you would see from us in the near future. I do it because I love to spread knowledge. I do it because I love to speak the truth. I do it not only for myself, I do it because it's, yeah, I'm a man of my word. When I speak wisdom, it's substance. It's, it's something beyond me. It, it, at this point, I'm not even you know speaking from me. This is, this is more of a voice above me, you know what I'm saying, that's being transferred or channeled through me do this brand and emulate it to you right now. Everything that I'm gonna do is just, it's meant to be, it's meant to happen in this day and time, whatever you wanna call it. Wisdom is meant, is now. You can say we all coincide into one being and we're all seeing the same life in just different angles. In life, we always hit with lessons and being conscious enough to always know that your journey is ongoing and every lesson is, every situation and experience is a lesson, is a lesson, is a lesson. Now wisdom to me, if you spell it correctly, you'll get wise dog. Always read and question, always question the answer. Some people will give you the answer to the question and then you got to turn around and question the answer. Question the answer, question the answer. It's the caution pro era. To me, wisdom is having knowledge and spreading it in a 
way that would benefit people. Help them acquire wisdom. A lot of people don't know, Wisdom's been around for years. You know, it's getting on the scene more, it's getting known, recognized more and more. But Wisdom has been around since 2010. We're approaching 2016. Wisdom basically is everything that you learn from in general. Like, you're going to go through life and you're going to mess up because that's a part of life. But what you choose to do the next time, that's where wisdom comes from. That's what it's all about, learning from your mistakes. Wisdom is more than just a clothing brand, it's a lifestyle. The knowledge that you spread with wisdom means more than anything. It's all about yourself, it's all about who you know, it's all about making connections. I was an Indian, I still be the chief. The only other I like wisdom because it's unique. It's different and the people who are behind it are really good prosperity and they got a lot going for themselves and I see it going very far. To me, wisdom means learning from experience and gaining something from everything that you do. If you're going through an experience and you don't learn anything, then you're not gaining any wisdom. Wisdom can come from any age because at any age, a person can go through any experience. By digging in my clocks, my brain. So if it's gonna rain, let it rain. I spoke you with the hit, make you jump like House of Pain. Boogaloo, boogaloo. Shake and jump and remember, remember, Chief Rock, I won't strike. Appreciate all the support for the last five years.